who will have the better career, mm. Lamar or Kyler? Mm. Uh, man, this is a really tough one. I'm going to take Lamar because I believe he's in a better situation. Okay. I believe organizational-wise, Skip, I believe from top to bottom, the way they do things from Steve Bishotti mm -hmm. on down John Harbaugh to the players that they place around him, I believe Lamar will be in a better situation. I believe he'll have the better career moving forward. Now, do I believe he's going to throw the football as effectively and efficiently as he did opening day? No, I do not. But I do believe he's vastly improved as a throw of the football. Considering last year, Skip, they basically, you throw on third down. That was it. But now they don't have a problem in allowing him to throw in any down in any area of the field. Uh, <clears throat> area of the field. And I think he's improved very much so in that area. So with that being said, you know, people keep talking about, oh, Kyler, Kyler, Kyler. Yeah. People don't realize this kid rushed for 1,500 yards as a, uh, as, a, uh, as a quarterback at Louisville. And the season that he had uh, uh, his, his last year's junior, because he came out early, mm -hmm. was better than his sophomore year when he won the Heisman. But his team didn't win as many games, and so it went unnoticed. But he was special, special. And I believe, now, <clears throat> can he do, can he throw for 30 touchdowns and run for another 15 in the NFL? I highly doubt that. But, Skip, he, he's a very unique individual. Uh, I love the improvement. Uh, and it's like, I think he went into the offseason and he heard everything. Well, he heard everything coming out of college. He should change positions. Mm -hmm. The guy who won the Heisman Trophy as a quarterback, Skip, they said, you know what? Now nah, you go on and change. You be a, a wide receiver. Uh, you should play running back. And he heard all that and he channeled that. He used all of that for motivation. And I think he's improved as a thrower of the football. And I believe he's only going to get better. Um, will he ever be Peyton Manning or Drew Brees? No, he doesn't have to. But they can, they're never going to be able to run the football like he can. So with that being said, Skip, I believe from the organization standpoint and what they have organizational-wise and the players that they're going to be able to place around him, I trust them more than I trust the Cardinals. And I'm going to say Lamar Jackson. Mm. If we're just doing situation, you got me. Because clearly... He's in a much better, <laughs> much healthier, stronger, more solid situation in Baltimore sure. than what is trying to get off the ground in Arizona mm -hmm. under a coach who got fired for going 26 and 30 at Texas Tech. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's rough, man. Right. That's why they had the first pick, and that's why Kyler is now there. Yep. As much as I like him with Cliff Kingsbury because of the offensive mentality and the system, I trust Kyler a lot more than I trust Cliff at this point okay. going forward. But if we can just do it in a vacuum, as much as I really like Lamar, because I really do like him, and I'm, I'm on record on this show going into that draft, I thought that was a steal. Where I, wasn't it Ozzy's oh, last pick, yep. right? That was a steal to get him that, that late, actually. Mm -hmm. But listen, you know how I feel. I love Kyler Murray. Mm -hmm. He's very special talent, unlike any we've ever seen. So just... As, as much as I think Lamar is an underrated thrower of the football because it doesn't look pretty. It's a little awkward, but he's got arm strength. Oh, yeah. And I don't know. The ball sure gets where it's supposed to be. Yeah. You know, I give you that. But Kyler, <laughs> I still think he's underrated as a pocket passer. He has a lightning release. He's deadly accurate. For such a little man, he's got a big arm, big easy arm. He, he can just flick it and just... 50 yards. Yeah. Ball jumps out of his hand. That deep out to Larry Fitz mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter. And I've said this, and then Lincoln Riley backed me up, but I kept telling you all last year, these are the quickest feet I've seen since Barry Sanders. And then I read quotes from Lincoln Riley right after the season before the draft, and, and he said of Kyler, his speed obviously is off the charts. He'll be the fastest quarterback in the NFL by a long shot the day he walks in the door. Well, I don't think he's by a long shot right. faster than Lamar <laughs> right. Jackson is, but I think he's a little faster and a, and quite a bit quicker. Just just right. ping, you know, that quick, that Barry Sanders acceleration. Mm -hmm. And, in fact, Lincoln goes on to say, but I mean, it's, it, it's almost kind of like the Barry Sanders effect. Yes, I'm small for my position, but I'm so athletic and so smart that I just rarely take big shots. Kyler took a lot less hits even than Baker did. So, and you were there for a lot of those games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just, I didn't see him take big shots. And by the way, as much as Lamar has been a running quarterback, Kyler was underutilized last week, even though he went, he got hot in the fourth quarter right on schedule because mm -hmm. he's, you know, we're talking about poise under fire, mm -hmm. but he goes 12 of, what was it, 12 of 14 for 157 yards just in the fourth quarter right. in, in overtime. Mm -hmm. But the point is, 
that he didn't get utilized. He ran three times for 13 yards. There's a whole nother realm in there if Cliff Kingsbury will allow that to happen right. because I think he can avoid the, the the dangerous shots. Well, I think the thing is, Skip, with both of these guys, and you see Lamar, he didn't run the ball uh, that much last week either considering what he, he didn't did. need to. Right, considering yeah. what they asked of him last year because he wasn't where he is now. He had a whole offseason, Skip. He got a new offensive coordinator. Greg Roman is his offensive coordinator. I think Marty, Marty Morningwig mm -hmm. was the coordinator last year. Yep. And you, Greg Roman also had Colin Kaepernick did. when they went to the Super Bowl. So he's very familiar with these type of quarterbacks, these type of players playing that position. And he's put uh, uh, Lamar in a great situation. I just think, Skip, People don't realize how much an organization plays, especially at that position, Skip, how much it plays to how that guy develops. Yeah. And I trust John Harbaugh more than I trust Cliff Kingsbury. I'm sorry. I trust from top to bottom the organization with Steve Bashotti mm -hmm. more than I trust... Um, okay. I'm you, trying you, to think you, the, uh, Cardinals, the, uh, the owner of the, the uh, Bidwell? Cardinals. Bidwell, yes. yes. I trust him more. Yeah. Now you got me. Because you're right, DeCosta, all I trust the way him. down the line. Yeah. You should trust him from top to bottom yes. more than what's starting to happen in Arizona. Yeah. But I do trust Kyler to have a better career than Lamar. And maybe he gets stuck in a hellhole situation where it's just so bad around him that it drags him down. Mm -hmm. But I think he's going to rise above it. He rose above That was his rookie debut. Well, you know Larry Fitzgerald can't play forever, right? No. Okay. Okay. I well, wish. There's, there's this thing called the draft. And they got Hollywood. Okay. They got hooray for Hollywood. So what what did I tell you all last year? Hollywood. You can get behind anybody. So Andrew. Yeah. Yes. Who yeah. cares about size? You can you have know? Deshaun Jackson. I'll take Hollywood. Oh, Stop it. Yeah. So happy. Stop it. The bad guy. <laughs> Hollywood is serious business now. Yeah. Skip, you oh, can fly. Well, you're going to find out about DJ when he yeah. played with Cowboys. Yeah, he's got a little age on him. Just a little age. Okay. Yeah, we'll okay. see. He's never really hurt us. Oh, he all will. All those games. He will. Really? Yeah. Okay, we'll get there. Yeah. We'll see. It's just a matter of time. Skip. How huh. many times you think you can, uh, how many snake handlers you think have ever been bitten? <laughs> it might not be the first time they handle a snake, the second or third time. Really? But if you handle him long enough, he'll get you. Huh. If you play DJ long enough, he's going to get over the top of you. Really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. He's an aging snake, though. Okay. Oh, oh he's <laughs> still running. Don't let no sleep on him now. Yeah. He still can run. So oh. I'll take Kyler with the 13. What do you think? Give me 13 on Sunday at Baltimore. At Baltimore, they got it all. Man, they got John Harbaugh and Bashotti, and they, they got the organization. That's moving forward. That okay. they got you, you told me they got that defense. Yeah, it'll, they got just, it'll just bruise Man, two touchdowns is a lot. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Not I really. get 10. Uh, I'll take 13 right now. That's the point spread, right, Jenny? 13? Yeah, 12 and a half right now. 12 and a half. Fox Ooh, Bet has it listed. Somebody's on my side there. It's starting to creep down. yeah. That's mm. a lot of points mm. because you know what you always get, that old backdoor cover. Mm. You mess around your whole game like, like Washington. Down 12 and all of a sudden, you, go, you know, what was it down? It was Th down that was actually a front door cover because what happened was they got ahead 17 Spotted nothing. Spotted them. Yeah. And then and we so all of a sudden, what was the spread, 10 or? Mm. It was 10. 10? Okay, so all of a sudden you're ahead 27 points. That's how you backdoor cover. No. Because you get front door. And then we went 30, and then we went 30. 32 to 12 on mm. 32 to, uh, it was 32 20 so we up 12 mm. and then y'all score a cheap touchdown mm, it's not with six. I'm not a y'all yeah. I'm, I'm a Dallas well I bet that they That's would a Washington I would I bet they would cover mm. okay I mean, I well, lost. Lost. Back, yeah with the back door so okay. I'll that's why well I got a front door straight up I need 13 no. though was a 13 no. yeah Shannon, come, come on come on yeah. Shannon. This is fun. You're just getting arch conservative. You, you seem gun shy. I don't really like nope. the conservative. It's not fun around mm. here. Nope. Mm. I don't know. No, I got you, have you, some guts. You got your little. You got your little 42 cases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my to, little 42. I, we need a visual of How all of them loaded up. Is it 12 or 12? Yeah. Yeah. What's 42 times 12? I can't do that. That's <laughs> a lot of bottles. That is a that lot. Is. Mm. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.